If your water source is up high, irrigation is simple. Just carve a channel and let gravity do the work. But what if your water source is all the way down in the valley and your crops are on steep mountain terraces? You could climb back and forth with buckets, straining your shoulders and soaking your shirt in sweat. First, they built a long wooden channel along the slope and tied a rope to a single bucket. By pulling it up from the top, they avoided climbing altogether. String together multiple buckets like beads on a necklace. One pull, many buckets rise. Efficiency soared until the weight became unbearable. So, they attached a hand-cranked pulley system to act like a water well. Easier, but not perfect. The rope still had to be reset after each cycle. That's when genius struck. They installed a second wheel at the bottom and connected both ends of the rope into an endless loop. But the wooden buckets were too bulky. They kept jamming halfway up. So they swapped them out for lightweight bamboo buckets. Small, nimble, and strong. The result? No more wooden troughs, no more heavy lifting. Now just one person standing at the top could turn the crank. And the rope, like a coiling dragon, danced in rhythm. As the bamboo buckets dipped into the spring below, they filled with fresh mountain water and rose upward. One by one, they reached the top, tipping perfectly into the highest terrace. Gravity then carried the water from top to bottom, irrigating each field in turn. This was the high rotation bucket lifter, a brilliant invention powered by simplicity, built on balance. With wood, rope, and water, it turned cliffs into farmland and scarcity into life.